Hello, my fellow friends. I um, have learned this uh, um, trick about bananas, which is probably all over the internet, but I had to try it for myself because a lot of things that I see don't work. And uh, I'll be honest, uh, the egg crushing experience, well, it's good to just uh, take like a, a, a quarter of a teaspoon. That's what I do. I'm not a doctor or a nurse. And I drank it up with water. I didn't put it... I, I, I do have a, a pill maker, you know, um, uh, that, that's another story for another day. But why not? Just put it loose in, in my mouth and just take a sip of, of delicious pineapple juice. And I drank it. It's really good for you. For me, I believe, for my bones, and it's free uh, magnesium, actually. Uh, so I take it before going to bed because magnesium should be taken before bed and... Um, uh, so, uh, calcium should be taken during the day is what I've read before. Uh, you can look it up. Don't take any, anything I say or anybody says, e even doctors look everything up for yourself. Again, I'm not a doctor or nurse. Okay. So I bought all of these bananas. Okay. So these bananas here, um, I bought them in ShopRite. Okay. My local ShopRite in the Poconos. And so they sell them for one dollar, like a whole bunch like this. As long as they could get the saran wrap around it, they give it to you for a dollar. They want to get rid of it because it's got all the brown spots, which the brown spots, by the way, is a good indicator that they're not chemically treated. OK, if you see that they're green, yet they're soft, they are chemically treated. Now, I'm no expert, but the, these are things that I learn because I like learning things and I like sharing it and paying it forward. Right. OK, so let me explain what I did. I unwrapped it. Right. I actually took three, 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 um, three sets, you know, they were wrapped in, in these each and now, um, they, they stopped wrapping it. And so I, I saw somebody taking pictures, you know, how the fruit looks, I guess maybe for advertising, who knows. And obviously he worked there. So I said, Hey, what's going on? I keep coming in. I don't see the banana, uh, bread, um, bananas, right. Which is $1 for a big bunch. Right. So they think I'm making banana bread, but I'm not. <laughs> Oh gosh. So anyway, and I don't take God's name in, in vain. God forgive me. Anyway, um, so now uh these these peels, first of all, all right. So this is this is one set and this is another. These are the singularly wrapped. This is what this is where the air comes in and makes it get older and ripe faster. So this is gonna last me a while, believe it or not. This is gonna be pretty just just by wrapping the tip. Okay, what they did, they wrapped the whole thing up, but there's air in there. It's not like air suctioned. Um, that's another thing. I could do a, a vacuum pack and I'll do it on another show. But this over here worked for me tremendously. Um, they just weren't getting any worse as I was um, consuming them in my smoothie. Okay, what do I do with the peel? No, I don't grind it and eat it because it's vitamins. Because first of all, nowadays peels do have the toxins because you got all of the uh, stuff, um, that I'm not going to mention something with Santos, right. And, and, and something with, uh, dup it may have, may or may not have the word round in it. Okay. So peels are not what it used to be where all the nutrients were in the peel because now it's all the nutrients and the chemicals, right? Anyway, I would never eat the, the peel. All right. I'm not into that, but I do have deer that come by me and they love the peels. They'll take this peel as well, um, uh, right, uh, you know, plantain banana or, or this, and they will eat them up. They will tear them up. I give them the peels for my apples. Now, I mean, I have TMJ and, and uh, I don't chew well, so to be honest with you, I cut up the apple and I chew on it and I spit out what I can't really chew, but at least I get a lot of the juice in it, which is really, really horrible nightmare. Um, I was rear-ended and, um, one thing I don't do, okay, so I don't give the deer, look at how this is much darker than this. Quite interesting, huh? Uh, so what I don't do is give this peel to the, uh, deer and, and groundhogs and squirrels. All right. Uh, but they don't care for it. This is like the last, <laughs> this is like the last thing that they eat when I put food out there. I don't throw food in the garbage. 
I throw the garbage in the garbage and the leftover foods I put out there. Now, deer are vegetarians. They don't eat meat. So I really put meat out there. But when I have meat, I put it in the empty lot across the street. And um, the birds, the, the crows come and they tear it up when I have fish that's going bad. This is one time I was going to dump the fish. But I washed it off and it didn't smell bad anymore. I cooked it and it was so delicious. And by the way, I got it at ShopRite, uh, a manager special. For like five bucks, thick steaks like this of salmon, two of them. They were little, but they were thick like this. Can you imagine that, right? And um, I had two of them for like five bucks only. All right. So, so um, I just want to show you. How I'm going to put these out now, right? So these are already individualized. And I could just go ahead and put them here like this, right? And it's going to last me. I, I remove this because sometimes when I eat, I may forget to remove this before I give it to the deer so that they could eat it. And sometimes they kind of stick a little bit. I, I don't want my deer. Um, I, I take care of them. They're my babies, right? I don't have pets. They're my pets. Because why? I don't have to worry about them. They could roam free, <laughs> right? They could go on roaming for free. And um, freedom is a good thing, right? And then they come back to mama for food. And there's a bunch of us that, that feed them. But I used to feed them bread. And bread is really not good for them. They actually didn't like my household bread because it was more dense. <laughs> they were like, I know there's a difference here. And I was like, I do too. But it was healthier, all right? Non-bleached. Uh, now I have organic and sprouted, which is uh, the good way to go. And uh, see, so these don't have any stickers. And if you like this, I would love to hear from you. Tell me what you think about my videos. Uh, even if you think it's corny, just uh, be easy. Um, try not to hurt my feelings. But be honest, though, because you know what? I grow from your knowledge. We grow from each other as human beings. You see how this one is? This is ready to be eaten. But it's not going to go get any worse. It's not going to get any worse because I have this covered, right? So, see, so I removed this one I'm going to eat today because, see, it's, it's, it's open. So I'm going to just leave that here. And um, so we're done with this. No, no stickers or anything because when I eat, I think of my little friends that are going to just as well eat and nourish their bodies because my dear female... She has made me a grandmother of, um, well, last year I counted about 24, so add three to it, 27. She has about three uh, fawns a year. She comes back in the spring, and she's going to be showing that she's pregnant very soon because we're already in, in April. And so um, uh, I, I would be delighted if she gives birth in, in my property, but we're not there yet. <laughs> Um, she likes to do it by the water, by the lake, um, so I don't get jealous. <laughs> I'm not saying she does it in consideration of me, but I don't get jealous that she goes to a neighbor to have the babies there because usually that shows that they're really, really close to you. Oh, so let me just show you over here. These over here, for the first time, I'm wrapping them by the bunch, right? And I don't know how effective it is, um, how well I did with the wrapping, because as you can see, the wrapping here, you know, I want it really, really well wrapped. I want to remove these. as Whenever I can, I like to remove them because they go back to nature. Whether if you don't have deer, at least uh, it'll go back to the ground, right? Um, so I'll just show you a little bit more over here. And uh, so this one's solo. So I did a few solos here, right? And, uh, yeah, I did quite a bit, quite, quite a few solos. And, yes, I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> I'd rather not show myself on a camera uh, for many reasons. Um, it's just my preference. I don't, you're, you're not here to see me. My modeling days are way past over. Maybe if I lose a little weight. Um, I could take uh, aged female pictures. <laughs> but... It is what it is. I'm not here to be a celebrity. I'm here to share my knowledge that I have been acquiring for over 30 years. I started out by reading and hanging out in the old Barnes & Noble's alternative health section. 
I learned a lot of things. I removed all the silver uh, fillings from my mouth. And um, now they don't really have them. Uh, I, I removed the amalgam, I believe is what you called, call it. I went straight to my dentist, didn't have a lot of money. He gave me a payment plan. He, he, he didn't, he tried to coax me, you know, out of doing it because I was one of the first people to ever do it. Right. And, uh, then it became popular and now they're saving on silver anyway. Right. So now it's, it's normal. You get the, um, uh, composite now. Uh, but that's not the way it was back in the late nineties. Okay. Well, it has been a pleasure sharing with you. Please give me a thumbs up. Uh, notific hit the notification bell and uh, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give me a comment I'd love to hear what you have to say I am still setting up all of my videos uh, some of them don't even have they're not set up at all but at least they're up um, I think that they automatically go up as uh, private although I tell it to make it uh, public but maybe it's good because they kind of protect me. I could slip a bat one day, right? Um, here we go. So an area view of my bananas and my oranges. Um, what I do and don't do, like the orange uh, uh, tamarind or... <laughs> I forget what you call this. Come on, please. Um, the peel is not very appealing to the animals when they are citrus. And I sure hope that you have enjoyed my channel and that you have captivated something for your knowledge bank. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye now.